Hello and welcome to Talk of the Town. Today our guest on Talk of the Town is uh, Sherry Bruner and Liz Hayes. Uh, they're from St. Benedict's uh, School and there's a special uh, uh, program coming up of a fundraiser and they are here uh, to talk with Randolph White and you about the activity coming up. So, uh, Sherry or Liz, you want to tell us what's happening at St. Benedict's? Well, this March 4th, we're happy to say we're going to be back at our school. So this is the first time we'll be live with our silent Chinese auctions, mm -hmm. raffle tickets, food. We're going to have breakfast foods, I think, starting in the morning and lunch. It's going to start at 830 and go on throughout the day. And this is the first time we've been there since 2020. 2020. And we are super excited. Liz can tell you about some of the... Uh, yeah, so uh, this event is what we um, do year to year. Uh, last year, we actually did it online. And um, so this is our first year back in person for a while due to, you know, COVID. So we're excited. We are rallying the troops to have the community come back in and support okay. us. Um, we do um, what's called raffle tickets. So we sell raffle tickets um, with our children as well as at the day of the event. And the raffle tickets... Um, are part of the auction as well and they cost uh six for five or you can buy an individual ticket for a dollar uh so that helps with just getting everybody out getting the children out selling mm -hmm. having them bring the community in as well with the raffle tickets there's um, some big prizes too what is it the first one wins a thousand dollars yes so how that works is the children get rewarded for selling the most tickets so it's an okay. incentive for them as well as um you know raising money for our school across the board uh, so this event is huge um it is one of the bigger fundraisers that we do year after year it has been around for 30 plus years um and and so we've been in the community and we've had the community support year after year and we greatly appreciate it. And we're excited to be able to bring that back to the table um, to the in-person auction, which is um, nice to bring the community in for them to see St. Benedict's and show the love and support to our well, children and our teachers. How, how, how important is this uh, particular fundraiser to the life of the I school? I think they said they, I think somebody told me that when we raised the money last year that that offset the tuition for for that whole month, it was unreal. I mean, it was, so it varies a little bit on what we make. Um, we're excited this year because in the last previous years, we haven't been able to get like the food sales and that in ticket raffle sales, which is a big deal. Those kids love to run around and sell them. And the nice thing about that, we hit pure profit after what, 1500 tickets probably. Mm -hmm. So after that is pure profit. And then, so that's good. But on top of all of that, I mean, just getting the community back in there, like she said, is so vital. This community, back here and surrounding i i would love to just do a show about how great this community is they have given to us year after year mm -hmm. out from their hearts a lot of these businesses are struggling you probably know this yes. these smaller businesses are struggling but they're still giving us you know um donations gift cards their services their time mm -hmm. their energy and they're gonna you know they've already given us that and then they're gonna come down and, and support us that day and there's so many different ways you can support us there's going to be something for everyone, right? Yeah, absolutely. And so kind of to explain a little bit about how it works. So um, we go ask local businesses throughout the community um, in order to get the donations to be able to do our live auction. So um, the live auction is based off of the community support of asking for support to have them help so we can raffle items off and you bid on those items. And um, that's how we fundraise and gain our money. So, so um, is it, it is very oh, important. So the community involvement that has already been a great support and then the fact that we're able to have um, others come in and help solidify what we're already out in the community doing um, speaks volumes. So we're greatly appreciated and very humble to yes. be able to say that this community gives back time and time again to St. Benedict's and really supports our children who um, with not only the educational piece, but the financial piece as well. So, okay, um, so it, the date, the time then. It's be. March 4th is when it's going to be the kickoff. It starts around 830. And like I said, we're going to have several raffles and items throughout the day. I mean, it's going to go March on to probably four. Yes. And we're going to, like I said, we're going to have food. We're going to have stuff on. We just would, we want the community to come back in and see us. What can the location is? It's St. Benedict. Right That's down here at the gymnasium. That's Steubenville Avenue. Yep. Okay. Yep. Well, listen, uh, both you, Sherry and, and Liz, we will be praying. 
that oh, all thank goes you. well. Thank you. And thank you for joining us today. We'll take those prayers. The and yeah. and, and <laughs> thank you also for tuning in for this segment of Talk of the Town. I'm Jim Vaughn with Talk of the Town, and we want to thank Cambridge Main Street for being one of our sponsors. And if you'd like to be one of our sponsors, you need to get, uh, get online to info at yourradioplace.com or call them up there on the hill at 740-432-5605.